in September 2023, we had to go to Cebu City for an errand. And we combined this with an interesting trip to Fort San Pedro, which is the oldest Spanish colonial era military installation in the country. It's a great trip, even though the ride took a lot of nerves. <laughs> Driving in the Philippines is not for the faint of heart. It's a lot of fun. You see a lot of unusual things and you see a lot of unusual driving techniques, but you also see amazing, beautiful landscapes. So enjoy the trip with us. Okay, I am in Amlan at the ferry port. So this is the roll on, roll off ferry, and um, this will bring us to Cebu. It's actually a, uh, so you can see the ferry in my background. And uh, this is the kind of ferry where you can just drive on with a car. And then during the ferry ride, you get out of your car. And if you take a bus, same thing. And uh, the ferries run roughly every hour. It's uh, 900 pesos with a car and two people. And uh, yeah, it takes you know, 20, 25 minutes. It's actually a lovely ride because you see the volcano behind you. Okay, this is a very good travel tip. Get a coconut. They cost 50 pesos, which is one euro. Say there's a taxi. Yeah. And they're very they're very rich in so there was a taxi, I got distracted. Very rich in minerals, potassium, great to rehydrate on a hot day. Um. have reached Fort San Pedro which is one of I think the oldest Spanish military installation in the Philippines and um, I think it's from the 1500s and it was initially made from wood lots of tourists here and uh, <laughs> this is a newer version I think that's from the 1600s the uh, fortification which is made from stone so let's check it out so you see the power cables so that you know in the that the spanish colonialists already could run their uh, refrigerators and tvs okay and up there above the main gate you also can see senor santa nino the patron saint of the visayas uh -huh. philippine flag Main gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to say something about Philippine history? What's the history? <laughs> uh -huh. I will tell you. Very interesting. Who is this gentleman? Magellan. And then this is these are the Spanish convincing the Filipinos to be Catholic. And there is a bit of fighting going on. Who, who fought whom? Miss, Miss? Lapu Lapu and Magellan. And, and who won? Of course, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 
Magellan actually was an ally of a chief from mainland Cebu and tried to, you know, in that alliance, tried to attack uh, a chief of Magdan called Lapu Lapu. So the lesson here is never get involved when the Filipinos fight because Magellan got killed. <laughs> there are a lot of tourists. Ma'am, where are you visiting from? I guess the Spanish trained some Filipinos in uh, <laughs> operating the cannons. So, Miss, you, you're a cannon operator? Yeah. Uh, how, how often have you shot the cannon in the last month? Never in my life yet. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Okay, you know. So, again, really beautiful iconography. Ah, uh, Mother Mary with uh, the Jesus child. You know, again, I'm an atheist, but uh, I really appreciate the art and the tradition behind that very nice to see that okay another another thing which is really nice about fort san pedro is that the, the uh, property is very you know the area is very well maintained and they did a really good job with the flowers it's gorgeous there are some botanical descriptions that you actually know which flower you're looking at and yeah the whole thing is a little oasis of you know, history and plants in what's otherwise you know turning almost into manila which is Cebu city you know greater Cebu city is rapidly growing but here it's uh peaceful and chill like so many other spanish era colonial uh, your church or military buildings in the Philippines. This was built from uh, coral formed limestone. So this is very interesting. In many regards, this looks like it's from Europe, this fortress. But um, our thing is, if you actually look closely, you can see that these walls, on these walls, there is still the structure of the coral. So I've seen these in a lot of other churches, in you know, old churches in the Philippines. This is fascinating. So this is really this fusion of you know, Spanish colonial architecture plus the biology of the Philippine archipelago. Okay, a little bit of Philippine history. So this is Antonio Bigafetta. I hope I didn't butcher the name. So he was one of the chroniclers of these early Spanish times here and these are Legaspi and uh, the chief of Bohol whose name evades me right now and they formed this famous blood compact where you know they essentially drank each other's blood as a sign of you know eternal friendship and um, this of course it's the famous chief Lapu Lapu who, who looks pretty pretty checked in this picture and he was the one to defeat Magellan in the battle of Bactan. So this, these were the early times of Spanish presence in the Philippines. And, uh, that has to be that uh, there's no label but that has to be much enough. Here is the scene of the Battle of Mactan. Uh, you know, despite like superior armament, the Spanish kind of underestimated the you know how difficult it was to cross the the wetlands, you know, the coastal area there, and, uh, and then they were defeated. So this is also interesting. This uh, picture of this chief here shows him heavily tattooed, and uh, you know, like in a lot of parts of the Pacific Ocean, of course, tattooing was and is a part of the culture, uh, you know, art, and it would it would also reflect your place in society and. I've been, you know, this this persisted in a lot of the, you know, Polynesian islands, 
and uh, in the Philippines, the, you know, the, you, these days you see a lot of people with modern tattoos, but the traditional tattooing was almost exclusively, as far as I understand, stamped out by the Spanish. So here is one more cannon. And, uh, Canon technology surely has improved, but I'm sure that did a lot of damage back in the days as well. So, so much for Fort San Pedro. I enjoyed that. I always enjoy history. And um, yeah, you should check this out when you come to Cebu City.